Hey, this is Jeff Garrett from the Set Performance Group, and today I want to talk to you about a book called The Cubs Way, and the subtitle is The Zen of Building the Best Baseball Team and Breaking the Curse. As you all know, there's the curse of the goat. This one's a little bit hard for me because I grew up as a Cardinals fan as a kid, and I wasn't definitely a Cubs fan because when the Cardinals and Cubs played, it could lead to actually fistfights amongst kids. This book was written by Tom Barducci. He's a Sports Illustrated senior baseball writer and New York Times bestselling writer. This is a story of a five-year journey that the Chicago Cubs used to build a championship baseball team. It's written in the context of the seven games of the World Series. So in give you a little background, in 2012, the Cubs did a meeting at spring training and came up with a 259-page player development manual. And in that manual, they laid out exactly what they were looking at as far as developing their players. It has six core principles of player development. And one of those principles can be used by any company, business, corporation. And that is the, they had an individual player development plan. Uh, a lot of companies have what they call IDPs, individual development plans, but they have a player development plan. And in that player development plan, it gave the, the players an idea of where they were at as far as getting into the major leagues. You know, are they ready hitting-wise? Are they ready um, throwing-wise, fielding-wise, and for as well as the pitchers? So it gives a really good background there. And one of the core things is that they had a mission statement, and that mission statement was to win a world championship which, as we all know, in 2016, they did accomplish just four short years later. So there is part of that book, too, and it, uh, in the book it has, in the manual, excuse me, it has CUB. And what does CUB stand for? CUB stands for Courage to Do the Right Thing, Even If It's Scary or Uncomfortable. U of CUB stands for Urgency to Do the Right Thing, and B, Belief We Can Do It. These are all principles that any business can put into play. You have to believe that you can do it to be able to do it. And the Cubs had to instill that in their, in their players. Uh, as many of you know, Tom Ricketts is one of the owners of the team. The Ricketts family owns the team. The Ricketts family is out of Omaha, Nebraska. And they had a company that was called Ameritrade. Now it's called TD Ameritrade. They uh, sold the company for a lot of money and were able to buy the Cubs as one of their business ventures. And one of the key things that Tom Ricketts did is he put, he looked for great people and he found great people. He had three criteria that he was looking for when he was looking for a cl club president. One was a commitment to player development. They weren't looking for something to just win a World Series. They were looking for something long term to build uh, basically a dynasty, uh, an analytical background, and a track record of success. And there was one person that really fit this bill, and they were very fortunate to get him, and that's Theo Epstein. Uh, many of you are aware Theo Epstein built the Boston Red Sox, another favorite team of mine. And Theo did basically the same thing for the Cubs. But one thing that Theo did differently when he came in with the Cubs that is different than what he was working on with the Red Sox is he brought another element in. As we all know, um, you know, Theo had a lot of analytics that he used to on the team as far as choosing players in the draft, choosing players to trade, those type of things. But with the Cubs, they brought in another element, and that element is of character. And one of the things that they really focused on was finding players that could play together and had really good character. Uh, they did a lot of research on that. In fact, they put their scouts on task to actually look at the character of the players before they drafted them or they traded for them. So that was a difference that Theo had with the Cubs. Um, some of the business lessons of this book, you know, jumping back just a little bit, another great hire was Joe Madden, uh, the manager of the Cubs. Joe is a great manager of baseball. He had a great history. He was with the Tampa Bay Rays and had a good history there and brought them to be very, very good. And he's done, as you, we all know, he did the same thing with the Cubs. And if nothing else, the price of the book is worth Joe's 13 Principles of Managing. You can get that by purchasing the book. And, but to sum it up real quick, here's kind of Joe's thing. 
summed up as connect, trust, and lead. So connect, so he connects with the players. Trust, builds trust amongst the team between himself and the players, and to lead. And one of his big lead things is Joe just gets out of the way. And really, Tom Ricketts, to a large degree, he did the same thing. He went out and hired great people and got out of their way and let things happen. We all know that Theo Epstein was named as one of the great leaders last year. I think that Tom Ricketts really is the great leader because Tom had the business sense to go out and hire great people, build a great organization, give the players what they needed to win, and then he got out of the way and let the people that he hired do their jobs. So some business lessons here, like I was just talking about, hire great talent. Tom hired Theo Epstein and Joe Madden, and then have a team mission. And their team mission, what they their rallying cry was to win a world championship. And then hire great people and get out of the way, like we were just talking about. So I'd like to end this by saying, be great today. And if you have business coaching needs, please contact me at info at the Ascent Performance Group .com or Jay Garrett at the Ascent Performance Group .com. Thanks and be great.